The best way to predict the future is to create it. Knowledge has to be improved, challenged, and increased constantly, or it vanishes. There is nothing so useless as doing efficiently that which should not be done at all. Management is doing things right, leadership is doing the right things. The most important thing in communication is hearing what isn't said. The entrepreneur always searches for change, responds to it, and exploits it as an opportunity. Efficiency is doing things right, effectiveness is doing the right things. Plans are only good intentions unless they immediately degenerate into hard work. We now accept the fact that learning is a lifelong process of keeping abreast of change. And the most pressing task is to teach people how to learn. The aim of marketing is to know and understand the customer so well the product or service fits him and sells itself. Making good decisions is a crucial skill at every level. Rank does not confer privilege or give power. It imposes responsibility. Unless commitment is made, there are only promises and hopes. But no plans. Trying to predict the future is like trying to drive down a country road at night with no lights while looking out the back window. No institution can possibly survive if it needs geniuses or supermen to manage it. It must be organized in such a way as to be able to get along under a leadership composed of average human beings. Time is the scarcest resource and unless it is managed nothing else can be managed. People who don't take risks generally make about two big mistakes a year. People who do take risks generally make about two big mistakes a year. The new information technology, internet and email, have practically eliminated the physical costs of communications. Follow effective action with quiet reflection. From the quiet reflection will come even more effective action. The only thing we know about the future is that it will be different. Today knowledge has power. It controls access to opportunity and advancement. Never mind your happiness, do your duty. Effective leadership is not about making speeches or being liked. Leadership is defined by results not attributes. So much of what we call management consists in making it difficult for people to work. Most discussions of decision making assume that only senior executives make decisions or that only senior executives decisions matter. This is a dangerous mistake. When a subject becomes totally obsolete we make it a required course. The purpose of a business is to create a customer. Innovation is the specific instrument of entrepreneurship. The act that endows resources with a new capacity to create wealth. Most of what we call management consists of making it difficult for people to get their work done. The computer is a moron. Management by objective works if you know the objectives. 90% of the time you don't. My greatest strength as a consultant is to be ignorant and ask a few questions. Manners are the lubricating oil of an organization. It is a law of nature that two moving bodies in contact with each other create friction. This is as true for human beings as it is for inanimate objects. Teaching is the only major occupation of man for which we have not yet developed tools that make an average person capable of competence and performance. 
In teaching we rely on the naturals, the ones who somehow know how to teach. Executives owe it to the organization and to their fellow workers not to tolerate non-performing individuals in important jobs. Accept the fact that we have to treat almost anybody as a volunteer. The productivity of work is not the responsibility of the worker but of the manager. The most efficient way to produce anything is to bring together under one management as many as possible of the activities needed to turn out the product. Business, that's easily defined its other people's money. A manager is responsible for the application and performance of knowledge. Checking the results of a decision against its expectations shows executives what their strengths are, where they need to improve, and where they lack knowledge or information. Few companies that installed computers to reduce the employment of clerks have realized their expectations. They now need more and more expensive clerks even though they call them operators or programmers. Thanks for watching. Waiting for the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe.